chef porn star 45. Now, realistically, I don't think any chef porn star should be 45. Mine is 45. And the price is going up. I really feel like a chef porn star in 2021 should be 55 or 60. And that's just because that's just the inflation. You know what I mean? It's inflation. And people be like, oh, your price is going up. No. You're, you're, and I have to tell people like, look, my prices go up because I give myself a raise. You know what I mean? You don't give yourself a raise. You go and you ask for a raise or you expect a certain percentage raise every year. So how, so what I'm supposed to do, you know what I mean? And, and if anybody really think about it, they'd be like, oh, we don't get no raise. Or, oh, we got a raise. But your job is exactly the same though. Like you got a raise, but you don't have any extra duties. Like you just got a raise because you've been there and your performance, right? So, but you're not doing anything extra. So why get upset when I make my prices higher? Because I'm giving myself a raise. Am I supposed to charge $45 forever? Am I supposed to charge X, Y, and Z forever? No, I'm not. So I'm not mad about that. Um, but you really do have to finesse it in. You can't just like come in one day, they think they're getting a $45 hairstyle and it's 55 or 65. No, you can't do that. But it's a gradual thing and you will lose you will lose people. Because people be like, Oh, I come to you, I don't care about that. You go to McDonald's and if they had a fifty nine cent ice cream cone and now it's a dollar fifty nine you won't start getting your ice cream cone for somewhere else? No, you still go to McDonald's. Why? Because you like the ice cream cone. Just It's just being real. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, it, it is what it is. So, these are the things that hairstylists have to pay for. You know, if your rent at the salon is $1,000 a month. Okay, so it's $1,000 a month. Then product, we're going to say between 100 to 150 a month on product, and that's I feel like that's reaching because I really feel like you can spend like maybe a hundred dollars on product a month. It depends on the products that you're using, you know what I mean. Um, and then you know, you're going from here to there, you're, you're constantly, you know what I'm saying, trying to make sure you have a uh, product uh, stock. On top of that, you have to pay your taxes. So you're paying. You have to pay your taxes. So that money has to be put aside. You know. Then you have to pay for your health insurance. Like when you're at work, there's your job is supplementing that. Like they're paying a portion. Like but as a you know, individual, you're not, you know what I'm saying, independent contractor or a sole proprietor, you're paying that yourself, and it's not cheap, it's, it's, it's not, not cheap. Because we've been wearing masks, makeup should not even exist. 
or be at a very minimum. Um, but, um, yeah, I feel like we should get up, do a little bit of makeup, brows, line of mascara. Um, I don't know about base. Maybe a little bit of base. A little bit. Um, and keep it keep it moving. I don't do that, as you can see. I want to spend $500 on makeup and perfume. And I was like, oh, I'm going to be doing my makeup more often. And then I don't even put for the other to do it. But that is changing. And I say it every time. I've literally been doing these videos for not a year. Close to a year, I think about at least seven months. And I still have not done all the things that I've, I've preached about in those videos. Um, procrastination, hesitation, um, all play a part in it, you know what I mean? It plays a part in, in everything. Uh, was I up late last night? No, I don't think I was up as late as I usually be up because when I got in bed, it felt so good. I just kind of went to sleep. Well, I did look at the phone for about 30 minutes, then I went to sleep. Um, but I, I, I feel good. I think trying to get in the bed earlier and earlier, but then when you don't get home so when you don't get home until. 9.30, you feel bad, like trying to hurry up and eat, spend time with your husband or significant other, and, you know, take a shower, and then how you going to do all that within 30 minutes, like, really? But I could have been to bed by 10.30 if I would have just, you know, came home, took my shower, I had to wash my work towels, make sure I put those in the dryer so they can be ready for the morning, um, spend some time with Tehran while we ate, kiss and you know brush my teeth get in the bed that's that's the way it could have went but i be feeling so like the day is gone and that'd be the problem i'd be like oh the day already gone so tonight i get off around i would say about 8 30. um so if i get off around 8 30 tonight if i go straight home get there by nine come and then take a shower I was supposed to meal prep, but I didn't. Uh, that meal prep would have saved me a lot of time. Uh, then you want to come home, you want to relax and spend time with my dog. You know, it feel like we be coming and going. Like we come home, we see each other for an hour and go to sleep, wake up, and we out work again. And it's so freaking stressful. But you know what? I look forward to the weekends because I have really been taking advantage of being off on Sunday and Monday and I don't have to be because for so long I was working every Sunday like 90% of Sundays 90% of Mondays you know what I mean it was like I was always at work um but since getting married you know I really when we purchased a home I really want to take care of home I still need to clean up you know I still need to wash dishes wash clothes vacuum dust you know go to the grocery store you know make sure my dog you know is not depressed because she's never spending time with us so i really you know what i'm saying try my best to uh give them that day now Tehran has been working straight so the situation is he's been working straight so he really hasn't had time to uh, do anything. And he's about, this Sunday will be his first day off in a month. One day in a month. So, 
it's like you really don't want to do much. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna tell, what I'm proposed to him is, if he get up at six, and if he get up at like six thirty and mow the lawn, and yeah, if he get up at six thirty and mow the front, and then edge it, and then he can charge the battery because we have an electric charger, and then charge the battery. Then when he get off, he can do the back. That way, on his off day, he doesn't have to worry about doing anything. I think that would be better. You know what I mean? I think that would be better. So, that way, he can already have a couple of things done. And Because this month, we were supposed to start painting the island. So, But, yeah. So, I am up... I should have left the house sooner. I, I got up about 6, 6, 10. But then I took my dog out. I got on the couch. I was like, I never get a chance to watch TV in the morning. Said and watched about 15 minutes of TV. Took a, like a little five minute iris. And then I went and folded up my towels at 7. And then I was like, oh, Lord, that ain't going to take me but five minutes. Took me 15. And by the time I got ready and did everything else it was 725 when we left there you go doing extra stuff um but if i would have left at seven i know i would have made it to work on time with about 10 minutes to spare um so that was my fault gotta do better tomorrow i gotta be to work at eight in my book tomorrow it's kind of back to back so i'm gonna leave the house at seven tomorrow i am going to prep the wig that my client is getting installed today because i do have those uh breaks so i'm going to go ahead and do her wig today so when she come in tomorrow i can just shampoo or braid her down um I mean, and then I sew it on, and then I can just take the pin curls out. I won't have to really worry about curling it. I don't want to curl it tomorrow. I just want to install it, and that be it. You know what I mean? Anywho, so until tomorrow or later on this evening, you never know. Bye.